Casseroles have a place in everybody's heart, whether it's the childhood memories, family coming over, or just a full table of guests. Warm and comforting is our memory. And today, we will celebrate the casserole. Layers of beef, cabbage, potatoes, and fontina cheese make this a one-pot meal fit to feed a crowd. Casseroles. They're easy to make, all in one. They're comfort food. They feed a big group. So today we're gonna do just that, make a great casserole from the Valdosta area of Italy. So if you're looking at Italy, Italy has 20 regions. And if you go all the way up in the left corner, all the way up under France, that's Valdosta. And it's right on the Mont Blanc, Monte Bianco. It's in the Alps, so this is hearty food up there. So let's make a, a sort of a pesto of condiments. Of course, garlic, sage leaves, rosemary needles, a little bit of salt. Okay, let's get that going. Olive oil. Okay, so let's see. Yes, this looks good. Beef is the meat of choice. This is a shoulder cut, and it doesn't have to be a, you know, one of those best cuts. Leave a little bit of fat on it, and just cut slices. And as you can see, you know, you have here about three, four pounds of meat. So this will feed a lot of people. Okay. So let's take half of the dressing and let's pour it over the meat. Some salt. And let's toss the meat. So that, you know, you get every piece of meat kind of with a little bit of the pestata. Okay, I think that's done. And then the potatoes get the same treatment. So here I have red potatoes sliced with the skin on. Let me toss the potatoes. A little bit of salt in the potatoes. So we have the meat, the potatoes, a nice big casserole buttered, and the cabbage. And this is Savoy cabbage. And <laughs> you know, there's an Italian saying when you don't understand it's, non capire un cavolo, non capire un cavolo. Cavolo is this actually, but don't understand a cabbage head, don't understand anything. So non capire un cavolo, if somebody tells you, it means don't you understand anything? But cavolo is actually this. So let's put half of the potatoes, and let's layer the bottom with the potatoes. Let's take shredded savory cabbage, like that, half of it. And that's where the meat goes. You layer it between the cabbage, just like that. So as you can see, you know, in the mountains with lots of snow and cold outside, and this comes out of the oven, you can see how delicious that is. Let's put the rest of the potatoes. Just like that. Some more cabbage on top. White wine, nice dry white wine, but I want to kind of collect all of the herbs here. Okay. A little bit of salt more. A few dabs of butter. Up north there, butter is used because, you know, you have the cows up the Alps, uh, you're close to France, and so the style of cooking does revert a little bit to using butter. That's enough. You cover it tightly with a foil wrap, just like that. And this will cook slowly in the oven, preheated oven 375 for about two hours. Uh, and even may take a little more. You go in with the fork and see when the meat is tender. You take it out, 
And you grate some fontina cheese, rich cheese from the Valdosta area. As you can see, it's rich and delicious. And you take all this grated cheese and you cover the top completely and put it in the oven without the paper for another half hour until the cheese really melts, caramelizes, and kind of also seeps into the meat. Now, while we are on casseroles, I have a question. Tyler Bennington from Pennsylvania asks, I've been trying to eat more vegetables. Bravo, Tyler. I really don't like them, but are there any comforting Italian casseroles with vegetables that I could try? Well, Tyler, this is it. Lots of meat, cabbage, which is great. And you have some cheese and potatoes. So it's a great first start of a casserole and you eating more vegetables. So once this work is done, your dinner is just about ready. Celebrate like an Italian, keep it simple. When you put all that effort and love in creating a casserole, let that bubbling beauty shine. When setting the table, just put a trivet in the middle in anticipation of that casserole. I recycle my empty tomato cans so that everybody can just grab their utensils and have a great meal. And for a stylish tip, I use the cans as a vase for flowers. Why not? My grandmother Rosa used to use the empty cans for potting plants with a screwdriver, make a few holes on the bottom, and voila, the perfect planter. And the only other thing you need is a stack of plate for the perfect family-style dinner. As you can see, it looks delicious. It has really shrunk into it because the cabbage has cooked, the potatoes has cooked. And I'm gonna treat it almost like a lasagna to get it out. You can just spoon it out, but I'm gonna kind of try to cut. Okay. Mm -mm. So as you can see it, the meat is falling apart. Let me grab a little bit of what's left in here. A little bit more of the juiciness, just like that. Mm -mm. Okay, now let me taste it. Uh, but before I get in and taste it, I have here a little bit of Refosco. Refosco is a varietal from Friuli. It has a nice acidity, which is gonna go great with this. So let me dive in. As you can see, you see the meat just breaks like that, a little bit of cabbage. Mm -mm. Really delicious. You know that kind of comfort food that uh, kind of makes you really feel at home? Potatoes, cabbage, meat that falls apart. Doesn't get any better than this. And you can feed an awful lot of people. You can make one of these, you can make two, you can have more than 20 people at your table, and you come out looking like a real chef, just like Lydia. <laughs>